director of Black Tech Charlotte. I am happy that this day has come. When we say Afrofuturism, what is it? What does that futurism mean to not only you, but can we have a collective linkage in that? Because we all have a part to play. But when we're looking at this from the point of view of technology, you know, there's so much for us to really uh, take advantage of. Uh, more often than not, when we think of technology, we're thinking of it in very, very practical terms. But I also think that there's a lot of creativity, and a lot of imagination, and a lot of ingenuity and innovation that we have yet to, uh, to really take full advantage of uh, as folk who feel that, that uh, they're disconnected Technology. I like to expose people to different neighborhoods, so I started a spiritual popcorn store where people could buy a uh, passbook and go to different restaurants in the city and get a five dollar craft cocktail, get their book stamp, and go to another restaurant. Uh, we already call this a bar. It's a bar call, but I love this. I'm the future, so I call it a spiritual craft cocktail tour <laughs> because you didn't have to do it in one night. Because, you know, my whole thing about my approach to, to cocktails okay. and to drinking is it's not about it's not about drinking till you get drunk. It's about yeah. you know, savoring and really experiencing a craft cocktail. So when something like a pandemic comes and disrupts everything, that also, which is generating challenges, is disrupting. But it takes that consciousness in that moment to realize, like, oh, like, my cell door is open. You know, and but we also have to be inspired to do that because that could be dangerous. Like, you know, are you really supposed to do that? Like, somebody has to jump out there or at least draw a picture. Of right. So I think that it's important to find this intersection of what's a speculative future for us. And what does that look like with technology? And this is one of the reasons why you know when we when we conceptualize this, we wanted to bring together designers and creatives and thinkers and scientists and entrepreneurs and techies and makers and all these folks and just have this collision of ideas, right? And see what can come out of this because we all have a role to play as um, one of them saying, we all have a role to play in this. more progressive future could be for, for us rather than have that defined by others for us, right? So we want to have some agency in that regard. And so this is a this is an opportunity for us to, to kind of plant our flag here in Charlotte with uh, the first annual and inaugural Afrofuturism Fest.
with Sean Peak, the director of Black Tech Interactive, Black Tech Charlotte. So the difference is Interactive, Black Tech Interactive is the national, international brand. And uh, the goal is to have Black Techs everywhere in the country. Um, so we'll start with Charlotte, um, hopefully go to Detroit, and Michigan, and all around the country and the world to have uh, little hubs of makers, in, in, inventors, and creatives uh, create spaces where you feel uh, nurtured in your ability to create a small business using high-tech technology. Um, um, so our, our job, our vision is to be more of a collab, of a studio approach where you get the communications, the operations, and the uh, marketing support that you need to be able to present yourself to funders to fund some of these amazing ideas that are being um, taken for granted or just hidden into notebooks. Uh, this will be our uh, ideation breakout sessions. So this is where we'll uh, talk a little bit more about community violence, access to fresh foods, and education, and we'll try to get as many ideas and solutions as we can um, during the time frame that we have. So it's just breakout sessions where we'll, we'll do that. Yep. Uh, Afrofuturism to me is um, a storytelling about black folks in the future with a link to the past. That's not the direct um, definition of it, but to me that's what it means. Like we tell stories about black spaces, the future, black spaces in the future, black faces in the future with the connection of the past and what we've been through and then where we're going. So that's what Afrofuturism means to me. Uh, so what we were doing earlier was we created characters and then they took their characters to the makerspace and used the LED strips to light up their characters. Yeah, I think it's our tape connection. It's kind of broken, just a little bit. We have problems in the world and they need to be solved and how they're solved is creating ideas and making ideas tangible. So what we're doing right now is uh, we have three different rooms set up here. Uh, we have three questions. One is surrounded on education. We are um, food and then uh, community violence is the last room. So what we're uh, proposed here as you uh, can see the question, how might we uh, imagine eradicating food deserts within our Inner, uh, inner city communities. And it's, a, it's an important thing that we uh, want to solve. And at this point in time, we have great minds and people that are forward thinking, why not uh, create these ideas and, you know, make these ideas come to fruition. Food deserts are places in the community where they aren't, um, they're, they don't, they aren't uh, immediate access to fresh foods or certain grocery stores. Um, and they pretty much all the food is outsourced. So the question that we have is how might we improve education and expand learning opportunities in the family household? Um, a few examples would be, you know, just limiting the kids' time on the computers, on the watching TV, on their cell phones, even though we do know technology is the future, you still want them to see what's around them, what's going on, have real life um, learning opportunities. And then also, you know, promoting literacy as far as reading to them. Uh, it could be a magazine, it could be a book, and just using your community resources as far as museums or even just walking in nature in your nearest park. You need, even though, when you think about the future, it's like the first thing is like, oh, robots. Yeah, no, exactly. it's just like, no, they're still gonna have those social skills, you're still gonna be able yeah. to jump outside the box and connect with people. Yeah. So I feel like that's how it ties into that. Everybody, I'm really excited to be part of this panel, connecting um, tech communities in Africa uh, with the diaspora in Africa. Uh, the African American community. Um, so, my name is Kamali Ajao. I come from Ghana. Um, I'm a specialist in environment and human health. This has been great. Again, I appreciate you all for coming. Next steps are um, lab. We're, we're, we're about to make some black billionaires. So, um, all the help, the community collaboration, and the goal is to make more billionaires. And billionaires. And billionaires. Um, 
other thing I want to uh, mention is that um, you know all of this is really about our imagination. So Rashawn and I imagined this, right? We were uh, we wanted to provide you guys an opportunity, a platform to do your own imagining, right? Imagining around what you know our our future could be. So it's really, um, you know, it's not just the, the, the process that we went through today, but how do we extend this process to, uh, to really invigorate uh, and, and, and captivate our imaginations so that we can do some really amazing things within us. And as you can tell from, you know, our folks from the continent, you know, they're I mean, they're doing the do, right? And as we think about what our opportunities look like and where that may uh, be uh, implemented, um, you know, let's not just think domestically. Let's not just think about what's happening here in, say, you know, Bay's Ford Road Court or, you know, here in Charlotte or elsewhere uh, where we have, you know, black communities here in, in, in the U.S., but let's think about you know, I mean, there's a billion young folk in, in, in the continent that are, are raring to go, right? And so stay tuned. Yes, indeed. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Much appreciated.